Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Will on Safety. Today, we're going to have a look at forklift truck and pedestrian safety. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to break the discussion down into two phases, really. We're going to have a look at some of the considerations and safety points uh, forklift operators need to start thinking about and also some of the considerations and um, safety points that pedestrians <clears throat> also need to be thinking about. So, you know, forklift trucks, they are a big piece of plant, all right? They are big bulky machines and accidents can cause severe injuries in the workplace. So the first thing we'll have a look at then is those forklift operator considerations. Okay, so before you utilise a forklift truck, we should be doing a pre-operational safety inspection. A lot of the times now you get these inspection sheets um, and they come on a little slide at the side of the forklift truck. Pull them out, go through that safety inspection. Okay, so when any unsafe conditions or issues are identified, the forklift's got to be taken out of service. Um, and those issues reported up the chain to your supervisor. All right. What we don't want to be doing is leaving things like forklift truck keys in the forklifts. Because if it's just left, you know, where it's normally obtained from, there's potential then, <coughs> excuse me, for that forklift to get utilised when it's uh, unsafe to do so. So we've got to take it out of service, putting out a service tag on it, take the keys away so it cannot be utilised. Next is a massive bone of contention, and this is something that I pick up no matter what industry I do an audit of, but seat belts. Seat belts must be utilised when operating a forklift truck. Now, I've heard all the excuses under the sun. I can't wear a seat belt. I'm in and out of the forklift every two and a half seconds. Okay, seat belts are there for a reason. Um, but the reason, you know, there's a lot of reasons to it. It's not just the reason you think, you know, if you have an accident, it'll stop you going flying forward um, and injuring yourself. Yes, seatbelts are there to keep you within the truck, but you only have to have a look on the HSE um, sort of instant logs. And you'll see there's been loads of incidents that have resulted in fatalities in some instances where forklift trucks have rolled and they've rolled over. But because the operator hasn't had a seatbelt on, he's gone gone to try and, he or she, should I say, have gone to try and um, jump clear of the forklift when it's been rolling over and have ultimately and subsequently been crushed by that forklift truck. Those seatbelts will keep you within the cab. You know, Yes, the truck might roll over, um, but it's going to stop you getting, from, getting crushed. So please, 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 I know it can be a nose, but wear the seatbelt so it can do what it's designed to do. Next up then is never overload a forklift. Always be mindful of the stability of the vehicle. Obviously, if we're carrying heavy heavy uh, weight on those front forks, there's potential um, to unstabilize it. Especially uh, in workplaces, you might have a lot of potholes and things like that. Obviously, if you're overloaded at the front, hit a pothole, there's potential then you could cause uh, the stability of the forklift to shift and potentially roll it over. All right, you need to be sure your load is stable and secure. All right, so we need to be lifting that load, you know, correctly up on the forks. It needs to be stable before we move that forklift off. Otherwise, you know, that load could fall, potentially injure uh, pedestrians, visitors and that type of thing. So next, stop at all blind intersections, honk your horn and survey the area before pr proceeding. Right, this is a big one. Those blind in intersections, you're not going to be able to see pedestrians. Pedestrians aren't going to be able to see you. So the chances of you interacting with pedestrians is increased. All right, so it's really important that we stop at those blind in intersections. You know, make the noise with the old horn, give it a quick beep. Uh, so people know that you're coming through. Another good um, thing to get for forklift trucks nowadays and speak to your management on this is this blue light system. And what that is, is it um, shoots a blue light out 
and it you, you can set the distance but the blue light effectively um shines sort of five ten meters in ahead or or at the rear of the forklift um and what you know the benefit that has is um pedestrians can identify forklifts in the area and operate in um, so they can st stay clear it's a pretty cheap thing to implement and it's uh, it's really really good bit of kit so i would implore you buy a blue light system for your forklift trucks okay next uh, maintain a safe following distance from other forklifts about three vehicle lengths obviously if you're operating in and around other forklift trucks you have to break suddenly you want to you want to be able uh, to, to come to a full stop before hitting another forklift truck so maintain a good distance from other forklifts three vehicle lengths is ideal okay uh, never drive a forklift in forward motion with an obstructive view okay i see this a lot as well so you know if we have got a couple of stacks on those front forks and you can't see out the front um, you haven't got a full field of view drive it in reverse all right, you need to have a full field of view. So don't strive, strive? God, I don't know where my head's at this morning. Do not drive with a full obstructed view, okay? Make sure you've got clear, um, clear line of sight. Always look in the direction um, that you're traveling in. So obviously if you have got an obstructed view at the front and you're, revert and you're reversing, make sure you're looking out the back, okay? So when parking, shift it to neutral, lower the floor, forks to the ground and set the brake. All right. I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen forklifts with, uh, with the handbrake off, with keys still in, etc. Remember, when it's parked up, shift it to neutral, lower the forks, set the brake. So where possible, maintain a safe distance of at least 10 feet from pedestrians. OK, this is especially important if the segregation between vehicular movement and pedestrians it isn't what it should be so if you have sort of uh, integrated walkways and things try and keep at least 10 feet away from all pedestrians so that's it in terms of uh, the consideration for forklift operators but as a pedestrian working in and around areas we also have to consider a few things uh, when we're working in an area where forklift trucks operate so employees working around where forklifts are being operated should be aware of all forklift traffic and stay clear of it. All right. Never assume the driver can see you uh, or cross in front or behind a manned vehicle, whether it's moving or stopped without making eye contact and getting permission from the driver. So make eye contact with the driver, get his attention, just let him know what you're doing. Excuse me, mate. Am I safe to cross over the front or behind you? Yeah, happy days. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's the next one. Uh, following up from that then, use marked pedestrian lanes and crossings if you have them. Most businesses will have marked up pedestrian crossing areas, okay? Um, drivers are expected to see pedestrians at cross wells or pedestrian aisles and they will typically be more aware when you use them so they'll be looking out to make sure uh, nobody's waiting to cross if they are they'll bring the forklift to a stop they'll let you know it's safe to cross you can go about your business and then they'll crack on all right next up um, no no one should ever cross under raised forks or clamp of a lift truck um, whether it's carrying product or not again all right you know, forks can can move if it's manned you know they might not see you bring the forks down it could cause you a serious injury so stay away uh, from those raised forks or clamps okay um, and never be between an industrial vehicle's load and a fixed object okay that's a massive crushing uh, crush injury um, potential there so steer clear of industrial vehicles loads and fixed objects Okay, keep yourself and your co-workers safe by following the rules, acting responsibly when behind the wheel or as a pedestrian working around those forklifts. I hope you found uh, this video interesting. 
I hope, you know, it's uh, blown away a few of the cobwebs uh, that tend, um, you know, people tend to, to get when we're dealing with forklift trucks or, or working area where forklift trucks operate. If you haven't already, please hit that subscription button. It helps me grow my community. Do that now, please. Uh, also, hit the notification bell and give me a like. If you'd like me to cover a topic, please send me a message in the comments below. Um, I try and respond to all the comments. Uh, so, yeah, any feedback or input, add it to the comments. I love reading, uh, you know, your comments and it helps me grow as a, as a content producer. Okay. But, you know, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and good start to the week. And remember, folks, be safe by choice and not by chance. Take care for now. Bye.